Hi, I'm Dr. Dale Savage, and in this segment, I'd really like to talk to you about LinkedIn profiles. What is a LinkedIn profile? How do I use a LinkedIn profile? When do I use a LinkedIn profile, and why? Well, really, to answer those three questions, it's very easy. I want to talk about really three things. One, presence, your presence on LinkedIn. Two, your position on LinkedIn, and three, your past on LinkedIn. So let's begin with presence. Presence is really the headshot that anyone who searches for you on LinkedIn sees. It is that immediate and first impression that someone views. I have looked at many, many LinkedIn pages, and I can tell those who have taken the time to have a professional headshot done versus someone who has cropped their picture from their Aunt Sarah's 85th birthday party or their niece's party in the backyard when she turned one. There's very, very different. Uh, both of those look extremely different on LinkedIn. What I would suggest, we have all types of uh, smartphones with some of the best camera technology. In fact, I don't know when my camera became a, my telephone became a camera, but that's how it is today. So let's use it. Find a nice background, ask someone to take your picture, put your lab coat on, put your white coat on, put a tie on, put a nice polo shirt on, get a nice piece of jewelry, a jacket, and have someone take, fix your hair, and just look your best and get a headshot done. It will go a long way to get people to want to read more about you. It is that first impression. So let's talk about position. LinkedIn has a wonderful section that's about two by four inches big, and it's typically called the summary. Think of this summary as how you are going to position yourself on LinkedIn. What do you want to say about yourself? It's your abstract. How do you condense your life into four, five, maybe six sentences that is something interesting, readable? How do you talk about what you're doing now? How do you talk about where you're going and where you see yourself and what type of position, what type of organization are you most interested in? From your PhD work until the, the present day, where do you want to go? What's next for you? Let's capture that in the summary. Let's use it to position you for your next employment, okay? And the past. Well, the past is really your CV. Now, what's interesting about LinkedIn and having a PhD and your CV is this. LinkedIn doesn't follow a typical CV format. Education will be at the very bottom of a LinkedIn profile page. Do not worry about this. What they're looking for is information about your experiences first. They want to know, what can you do? What can you do for me? How are you marketable? I know that word may not be the best word to use, but it is how you're branding yourself, how you're marketing yourself, what's your experience, what's your questions, what are the hypotheses that you have that you're most interested in, what's your research agenda. That really needs to go up front. The activities, the honors, and your education will flow after that. So please know that it is different from a CV. However, you can also link your CV to your LinkedIn profile page. The last thing I really want to say about LinkedIn is this. Once you have a LinkedIn profile page and people are connected to you through this page, anytime you make an update to your page, it sends an announcement out to your entire network. So my word to the wise is this. L update your LinkedIn page no more than three, maybe four times a year would be best because you don't want these widespread announcements going out that many times. It would be best if you uh, take all the information that you want to update, do it at one particular time, put it on your calendar, make those changes wisely and in a timely fashion. Remember your presence, your position, and your past are all very important for your LinkedIn profile. Good luck.